Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a tutorial on how to design a character very easily. Watch to the end and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. So the first thing we want to do is make a simple sketch of our character down on paper. As you can see that's what I'm doing. The reason is because when you make a mistake you can easily erase it and get the accurate image that you want. Today we're going for a simple image. Now let's begin. I have transferred the image onto my Photoshop and I'm redrawing it out. Make sure that when you're doing this, you try your best to avoid mistakes and the edges. And if you do, there is no undone. You can always go back, erase it and do it right. Remember, every single detail matters and you're trying to recreate the image you drew. You can also decide to make a few adjustments if you feel so. We're almost done. Now it's time to color our character. By the time I lower the opacity of the image, I get this in my background. You might notice a thin pink line. I created that as part of my design. We'll get to it later. Now I'm typing in my color code. Color code really makes things easier. As you can see, I'm just inserting the colors in very easily. Now for the skin, I already typed in the color code, so I'm just pasting it. If you want to know all the color code I used for this character, comment down below and I'll type it in. Next is the outfit. Now the pink line initially was the same as the pink here. And I did that so that there would not be a uh, demarcation shown when I add the other pink. It will just look like they're placed side by side. And it actually turned out great. Now let's get to the smaller details like the eyebrows the eyeball and the lips. I gave the lips a darker shade of pink. Next and a very important part is highlighting. This is showing where light is reflected in your character. Now I'm doing the first part by a hair. This is by using a lighter shade of the color you used initially effect gives your character an even better look. Next we're going to shade. Now of course shading will take a darker shade of color than the original one. Now we do this to show where light doesn't touch and shadow appears. I added a little white effect around the design and this is the complete look. You can also change your background if you do not like the plain white one. Whatever you feel is necessary. Well done everyone, our character turned out to look pretty good. If you liked this tutorial, please don't forget to give this video a like, comment and subscribe down below. I'll also be doing more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.